This weekend I was able to cover something that I've never seen before in my life, the sport of wheelchair softball. Oh man, the fun level exceeds everything. The city of Brandon hosted a wheelchair softball tournament this weekend. Both able-bodied and non-able-bodied athletes participated, including former Major League pitcher Brent Leach. Here we go, play ball! Knowing Chris and Anton, I mean, it's one of those things that it's a no-brainer you want to show up. If you see it, it's just as competitive as anything that any other sport you would play. So you come out here and you just realize about an inning into it, your biceps are burning, your shoulders are about to fall off, and you're like, man, mad preps. <laughs> and there's no questioning what kind of impact this sport has for those who aren't able-bodied. I played able-bodied softball up until I was about 28. Uh, started coaching uh, high school basketball and uh, was in a car wreck when I was 29, uh, 13 years ago. Uh, no, 14 years ago this year, uh, head-on collision and was hurt. It definitely put me in a dark place. Um, you're looking for something that you've always had. Coaching was great, but if you wanted to play, you still want to play. And, uh, and I still wanted to play. And, um, and when I found wheelchair softball, it filled that hole for me. There's people who travel all over the place to compete, like Joe who came from Boston just for this tournament. For the team, I'll do anything, you know. This is a great team. I've been fortunate to be a part of their team right now for the past, what, three or four years. It's realizing that sports is for everybody. You have to make the adaptions, and you do. You adapt to it, you know. For me, being an amputee, you know, the wheelchair community opened the door and allowed me to be competitive in softball still. It's pretty neat to see our community come out and support this event, and I hope it's something that we continue to do for years to come. One, two, three, count! Yeah, that was easily one of my favorite stories I've ever been able to capture and share. Chris told me there was a genuine love for everyone involved with this team, and it was more than evident.